Hey guys, Courtney here with Courtney's Customs and today I'm going to be making this absolutely gorgeous purple snowflake tumbler. I know it sounds kind of crazy, something that you probably wouldn't normally do, but I love purple so much and I love the snow so I figured let's just combine those things and make something pretty. This is a 12 ounce wine tumbler from Courtney's Customs Blanks. I'm going to have my link down in the description. For the base paint for this tumbler, this is Muted Plum from Pop of Collar. This is absolutely gorgeous. It's going to make such a perfect base color and I'm just so super excited about it. And I'm going to be applying it with a Wet n Wild makeup brush. Um, it's just super, super soft so it's going to give me a really nice smooth finish on my paint. And for the glitter, of course, none other than the Glitter Grind. This is Swagger. Guys, this is like my shade of purple. Like, look at this and look at my wall back here. It's perfect. I love it so much. So um, don't walk, run over to the glitter grind and get yourself some swagger because it is gorgeous. Okay, here we go. So again, this is Muted Plum from Pop of Collar and I have a discount code for you guys as well. I'll put it down in my description, but the code is CC8. It's going to get you $8 off of an order of $36 or more. Oh, this is so pretty. I kind of want to make like a matte tumbler with these paints. I feel like that would be really, really pretty. And I'm just using like a super light hand to apply this because that's going to make my finish look even smoother. And now just to speed it up a little bit, I'm going to set this in front of my little heater and let it dry. Okay, so this is good and dry. Now I am going to go in with my Mod Podge as soon as I get this open because I've never used this before. I just ordered it like last week. Okay. Now I'm going to just cover the tumbler in Mod Podge. I probably could have used the paint as my adhesive. Didn't really think about that. I just dumped a whole bottle of glitter on a 12 ounce wine tumbler. <laughs> but look how pretty. Oh, I love that color so much. All right, so now I'm gonna let the Mod Podge dry for about five minutes, then take it outside and give it a good coat of two times Rust-Oleum Clear, pop it on my turner back here from Bama Cups, give it a couple coats and come back to show you guys the next step. Okay, so it's been a couple of days. There's two coats of epoxy on this. It's pretty smooth, but I am going to sand it down. These are the sanding blocks that I use. Um, they come in a pack of four from Amazon. I'll have a link in my description. This one is 80 grit. So I'm just going to sand all over this and get it like super extra smooth before I move on. Okay, so now that everything is nice and sanded, I got these snowflakes from Creative Fabrica. I'll make sure to have a link in my description. And I did two of them the same size and three of them a smaller size. So this is two inches tall. And then I let Cricut like automatically do the width. So it was like 1.83 or something like that. And then the smaller ones are 1.3 inches tall, um, maybe like an inch wide. I'm not totally sure, I forget. So now I'm just going to kind of like randomly place them around the tumbler and this is going to be a peekaboo so they're not going to stay blue. So 
now that I have the snowflakes scattered all around, I'm going to go back in with the same pop of color paint that I used to base paint this. This is Muted Plum from Pop of Color. And I'm going to go over the entire tumbler. And this is the Wet and Wild makeup brush that I use for, gosh, everything. <laughs> but I'm going to put a nice, even coat of paint. Try to make sure I get in all of those little nicks and crannies. Once I'm satisfied and everything looks nice and smooth, I'm just going to let it sit and dry. Okay, so now that the paint's dry, it's time to start very, very gently peeling away all of these vinyl snowflakes. Okay, so now that all of the vinyl's off, I'm going to go back in with Swagger, which is the purple glitter that I used in the beginning here, Mod Podge, and a makeup brush. And I'm going to put Mod Podge further down than what I actually want it because I don't want my glitter that I'm going to add to be a straight line. So it's not going to come all the way down here, but I'm going to put the Mod Podge there anyway. I don't want it to just like abruptly end. I might as well have just covered the entire thing, but it's okay. <laughs> okay. I am going to cover the whole bottom though. But I'm going to go back in with Swagger and just tilt my tumbler and very lightly shake on some of that glitter. just to have at the top and the bottom. And I'm trying to be so patient, which is really hard for me to do. <laughs> and I'm really trying to uh, not add too much because I want it to be kind of transparent. Okay, so once this Mod Podge dries, I'll come back and I will show you what it looks like. Okay, so it looks a little streaky from that Mod Podge, but it's dry, and I did spray a little bit of sealant on there. So pretty so far. So what I'm going to do next, wait for the sealant to dry uh, about 5 or 10 minutes, pop it on my turner back here from Bama Cups, add two coats of epoxy, come back to show you guys the finished result. And this, my friends, is the finished result. I love it so much, which I might be like a little biased because I love purple. It's my favorite color. But you can't look at that and tell me that is not just so stinking cute. I absolutely love this so much. I want to keep it, but I will have it on my website. I think I'm going to put one more coat of epoxy on it just to be safe. Um, but after that, it'll be on my website in the next couple of days. So make sure you all go check that out. Big thank you to Pop of Color Paints for partnering with me for all of the gorgeous paints that I got. I can't wait to show you guys every single one. And don't forget, I used Swagger from the Glitter Grind for all of the glitter here on this tumbler, and I love it. Before I go, like always, I do have y'all's cup of positivity for the day, and today's quote is, You've done it before, and you can do it now. See the positive possibilities. Redirect the substantial energy of your frustration and turn it into positive, effective, unstoppable determination. That was said by Ralph Marston. That's all I have for you guys today. If y'all have any questions, like always, of course, please feel free to comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Be kind, love one another, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!